I want to do an exercise today to help you get some completion in certain areas of your life. What I've discovered from reading books written by many experts in the field of human potential is that incomplete things in our life rob us of energy. Loose ends seem to suck the mental energy from our bodies. Something incomplete could be a fight you had with someone in your life, you know, even two years ago. Maybe you bought something online and it was never delivered and you're still a little bit bitter about it. Maybe there's a home project, you know, a remodeling job you were doing in your house and you still have parts laying here and there and it's something you should have finished a long time ago. So we need to get some closure and completeness in those areas of your life where you have things that are unresolved or incomplete. So the first thing I want you to do is make a list of all the areas of your life where you have things that are incomplete or unresolved. These are all the things you haven't finished. All those open loops in the back of your mind that are still running. Just a hint, those areas where you have incompleteness, your mind will tend to go into avoidance. We don't want to look at them. You know, sometimes it's even kind of painful to think about. You know, we tell ourselves, oh, I'll just, I'll get to that later. So this exercise will require some honesty from yourself. So make a list of all those areas in your life where you don't have completeness, where you have things that weren't finished. This should be no more than one page and it should only take you about five minutes. When you're done with your list, come back and hit play. So pause the video now and make your list. Excellent. Now it might be a little scary to look at that list of all those things that you haven't completed, things that are unresolved. Some things might be emotional, some might be physical, others logical. Regardless of the issue, the next step is to prioritize your list by the things that are robbing you of the most energy. So go through your list, number them one, two, three, four, five. So that way we know which issues we need to tackle first. You might be familiar with the 80-20 rule. It states that 80% of our results come from 20% of our effort. The 80-20 rule teaches us to focus on the 20% of things that are going to give us the most results. So we need to find the 20% of things on your list that are sucking away 80% of your energy. We then need to complete them or consciously make the decision to let go of them. For instance, if you ordered something months ago and it still hasn't come, the company won't respond, it's very frustrating, then we need to make a decision. We need to decide to consciously let that go or we need to decide to hire an attorney and take care of it. These issues aren't worth the mental drain on your energy and it's not productive kind of staying in limbo. You need to get completion in these areas of your life. It might be that you need to call someone that you haven't spoken to in years, but it's important to tie up these loose ends. So prioritize your list, then do whatever it takes to get closure in those 20% of things on your list that are sucking up 80% of your energy. If there's nothing you can do physically to get closure on one of those issues, then you need to consciously make the decision to let it go and release it. This exercise will free up a tremendous amount of energy and you should start to feel the results immediately. I hope you guys enjoy this exercise. If you're enjoying the content, please like the video and we'll see you next time.